Welcome to a brand new episode of the TF Motorsports official podcast. Thomas Fransco is, uh, we're here at the final episode of season one, um, unless if we have other er interviews. So, as of right now, this is the last episode of the season uh, for the main style of the podcast where we review shows or um, talk about drivers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's been a great year. It started off January. Originally, was just going to do this with Monster Jam, NASCAR, and Supercross all together. Obviously, didn't work out right. Got burnt out because I can't be covering three things, and one of them I barely watch. So, it was best for me to transition this to just strictly Monster Trucks and Monster Jam. And now, Monster Jam, of course, being the main hub. And it's working out great. Um, now doing these <coughs> recent episodes, now I, I figured out a good formula. And hopefully for 2025, for season two of the podcast, we'll be um, continuing that and hopefully doing weekly episodes reviewing Monster Jam and then eventually talking about Monster Truck stuff independently. Uh, so Album is back from uh, the last few episodes. And... Yeah, uh, and also bear with me if I mess up on something or if I don't sound too energetic. Um, I'm pretty exhausted, but we're going to muscle through this. We, we I want to get this done, and I want to chat about Monster Trucks because, again, that's something I just love to do. And also cap off Season 1 with a bang. So, yeah, Arlington happened, and got to be honest, it was a good show. Yeah, I also got to agree. It was a really good show. I honestly liked it. You know, everything was uh, pretty good from start to finish, but, you know, it's an average Arlington show. Could have definitely been a little bit, just a little bit better, but, wow, I was amazed to see some stuff. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, with the track, I mean, the I do love the racing style where they start in the middle and work their way out. I really love that, um, and just the create, like, like, having it different like that, like, it was unique, and it's something we haven't seen. It's great. Um, I just wish they could have added, like, maybe one more ramp, like, or extend from one of those ramps right by the racing lane, make it huge, or have a double, something to make it more freestyle-esque, because obviously Monster Jam's really pushing freestyle heavy this year, so I think it would be very nice to have one added touch before the 2025 season, because there's still time to, uh, develop... As far as I know, it that part might be easy. Again, I've never created a track before, so. Um, but from my inexperience with this stuff, I think it might be easy to plan out. So, if they can add one more big thing to the track for freestyle, I'd I'd appreciate it. Yeah, honestly, I just agree with you. A little bit more things have to go ahead and change. <laughs> be perfect, but. Yeah, all in all, the track was really good. You know, you had that um, mini flip ramp, which could probably send you into the ceiling. But uh... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, pretty and, good. Yeah, yeah. Track. but also from the racing part, I really loved the gap jumps where you have to jump from one ramp to another. I love that. I love that style. Um, it's it makes it more challenging and unique. I'm glad they brought that back for this track. Yeah, it definitely does make it unique. I mean, honestly, it reminds me a little bit of Red Series, but at the same time, you got to take into consideration both trucks are heading their different directions that are being side to side when hitting that final ramp. They're going to be coming from left side and right side. And yep, so this time the event went off without a hitch. No controversies, great reviews, mm -hmm. scoring was fair. Um, yeah, Arlington was definitely the best event out of the uh, mm -hmm. out of the three for those reasons, as well as the wow factors too. Uh, so we're gonna start with racing and uh, Weston Anderson, believe it or not, um, got his uh, racing victory in Gravedigger. Um, and if obviously he's gonna be in arenas, and I've been preaching this for a while now. 2026, we better have Weston in a stadium series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could honestly agree with that, but 
eh, if anything were to happen, we need to get one more Grave Digger driver in or one more to come back, maybe like Morgan, and we can go and start another stadium series. Yeah, either that or uh, I don't know, have maybe Charlie for one year or like kind of alternate. Um, because <clears throat> cool. uh, whether Weston drives Grave Digger or some other truck, it'd be really great to have him in a stadium series. Yeah, it definitely would. Um, because obviously he's done three arena series already crazy how much time has passed and he won all three of them so and he's going to his fourth and if he wins his fourth um arena series this year then they should really think about 2026 because uh if they don't do anything there's a good chance he's going to be sweeping almost every single time he's in an arena yeah, that, that's definitely something to look for. But 2025 season, I just got to real quick say, not going to be my favorite season. We'll be heading out to a real good shows. But 2026, oh, I am so back. I'm moving back to Texas. I'm going to be the real monster truck, Texas, again. And I'm going to claim my throne, go to Houston, go to Arlington, go to San Antonio, go to Austin. You'll see me everywhere. I'll be able to get on this podcast a lot more and talk about my experiences. Awesome. Um just gotta wait two more years. Yeah. Well that'll be they'll they'll come up soon. Um I mean technically it'd be one whole year because uh oh, yeah, the fall yeah. shows. Yeah, because the fall shows yeah. Uh now we go to the uh skills challenge and Dalton Widener gets redemption from last week. He got the skills win mm-hmm. in Jurassic Attack. Heck yeah. Skills challenge was really cool to see, you know. Everyone doing their classic move, and then he got Weston, which um, I don't know if the uh, REI officials were sleeping, but I think one of them was tucked in real badly and just woke up. Yeah. <coughs> um, and yeah, I'm trying to refresh it in my brain. I did see a good portion of it, but at that time, I was actually exhausted because I came back from Orange County that day. I fell asleep during skills and I had to watch it back the next day but oh. or not the next day but uh, later that night but yeah all, all in all it was uh, it was it was good watching it back um, so then we have freestyle and from what I remember freestyle was very entertaining mm-hmm. it definitely was you know started beginning pretty good you see Mike Christensen going on a roll you saw Thor going on a roll flat tire yeah, to everyone going on a roll, even Camden Murphy. I mean, he he didn't do exactly what he wanted to do, but so he did some kind of barrel roll, and it was just amazing to watch. Yeah, and then we had Jamie Sullivan get the win, and she did this crazy consecutive backflip save. Like, that was incredible. Oh, yeah, I forgot she did that. Yeah, that's – yeah, that that's that's what nabbed her the win and that was that was cool like just how aggressive the backflip was though like that's like like when 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 like a saver or, or a backflip is like an aggressive one where it's just like oh like whack it insane you know that's yeah. that's something that'll win me over and yeah Jamie Sullivan got the win and Thor <coughs> you know honestly nothing really too controversial about that. Everyone uh, did pretty good, you know, but Camden ended early. And then you got Weston. Um, his his uh, back axle wasn't really um, happy after that freestyle, but yeah. it was all scoring was pretty good, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. And yeah, everything was looking good. Yeah, so the, yeah, the event, fan judging was great. Everything, like, er- er- everything was really good this event. And um, hopefully uh the fan judging gets better uh when we get to 2025 um either with the thing that i suggested last week or um if they somehow do something behind the scenes uh they can try to like change it up but still it was it was a really really good show um a couple nights ago um yeah and then the big story coming out of it was um mike christensen 
after the Gremlins got him last uh, last time in Houston. He managed to uh, get redemption and get the overall event championship by one point over Dalton Whitener. Yeah, it was honestly really cool to see Mike go ahead and get an overall. I think he, he he deserved it. You know, a lot of people will dog on me for saying that, but honestly, Mike Christian deserves it. You know, hasn't got them mat hasn't gotten that many overalls, but he's been trying really hard, battling truck issues. So yeah, kind of deserves it. Um. Now I'm trying to remember. I think there might have been uh. Like, I think there was a post from some from from a driver who is uh, friends with Mike. Elliot um, Miller. Oh yeah, 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 that 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 one, yeah, yeah. What, what did he put? Something fat ass. What, what did he say? That nice. He said, he, he said, "Nice job, fat ass." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. That's pretty much the meme of the uh of the week. <laughs> oh no no no! Did you forget about what Chris Kohler did? Um, Chris Kohler. Um, again, my brain is so fried right now from work. Um, oh, basically, there's yeah. a freestyle. He went ahead and um, he went ahead and tried peeing on his tire. Oh, I'll get a photo for you. Um, about that. Part. Wait, wait. <laughs> it, it it was very comedic to watch. You know. So Chris Kohler all down on all fours, tries. To oh pee on wait, his tire. yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Oh my god. So that was so it's either the, either the nice job fat ass comment or Chris Kohler being Chris Kohler. Uh, <laughs> now you call me. going into twenty twenty five for uh or sorry, not twenty twenty five, but going into uh November and December, obviously, it's going to be slow. We're not going to be really covering this stuff because it's just arena shows and it's, you know, nothing really special. Uh, but there's really one thing that we got to point out, and that is a truck return, believe it or not. Um, Backwards Bob. Backwards Bob is coming back. I was not expecting this, um, but this truck is a big fan favorite. And, uh, yeah. It's actually coming back. I can't believe it. The last time I saw Backwards Bob, I believe it was, um, I believe there was a show in Corpus Christi, Texas. I actually can't remember if there was a show there, but from my memory, I believe there was. That's the one time I was see Backwards Bob, and I want to see it again. Yeah, so it's going to be in an arena show in November. Um, in a, in Washington, but I don't know if this is a one-off like Northern Nightmare, where they just need to keep the name. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's that or it's maybe something more. But only time will tell. Monster Jam will probably put out like more information about it if that's true. But if it's not true, then it's just gonna be a one-off. So. Um, but yeah, Backwards Bob, back at Monster Jam, beginning uh, in November. Yeah, because there has been some, um, there has been some, uh, what is it? Rumors about Backwards Bob being, um, being able to return in 2025 and Camden Murphy will be able to drive it. But it's not all completely true. I don't know if it's going to be um, real. Probably not. Probably not, probably not. But, you know, we can always just imagine all what's going to happen because I don't want no um, Fuel Academy uh, for Camden. There's also a theory that he might drive that truck. Search it up. Mad truck. <coughs> uh, so, we will find out in the future on uh, what will be the situation with Backwards Bob. Um, hopefully the truck sticks around and continues on, but if not, then, well, at least we got to see it. Um, but yeah, it will be on a live stream, so it, it will be with Monster Gems Archives. Um, 
Now, so we pretty much just reached the 15 minute mark. And uh, now we're just going to talk about 2025 Monster Jam stuff. I'm kind of glad everything is moving along so quickly. I'm not really feeling the best. Um, but 2025, uh, we got st uh, Stadium West track fully figured out. Stadium East might be that track that we saw, unless if they go for more changes or a completely different track. I don't think they said it. Um, but... Yeah, there's also some great lineups, arenas and stadiums, live streams each week. I think we're going to be having a very exciting season and a lot of like full time fans are going to be made, I think, because of the uh, live streams. And I'm very excited to see where this all goes. Yeah, and not my words, but this season also proves that they need to run trucks every so often. For example, Aliens uh, Invasion has a chance to return. Pirate's Curse has a chance. Captain's Curse and Doomsday has a chance to return because they they are trademarks still own and they at least have to make one off appearances like um, we were saying for Backward Bob. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that truck actually makes a full time return because honestly, that's a a very popular truck, um, not just for people who are nostalgic over the truck, but even modern fans who played it in Monster Jam, Steel Titans, and Showdown, and uh, also watching uh, videos of the truck, or just seeing the concept, or even buying the toy. Again, it's a very, very popular truck, so it would not be surprised if they were to make it a full-time truck again, but hopefully they do. Um, <clears throat> and of course, with... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm like all wishy washy right now. Thank you, work it's for being a dick to me. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm just excited for next year. That's all I'll say. While I try to gather more thoughts. So now we just gotta wait until next year. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, we got two months. Um, there's actually, I'm gonna re I'm gonna reveal this right now. We got a lot of projects coming. So we're gonna be no short of content. Um, that Hot Wheels game came out, and uh, no, in, in no, no. yeah, and then I'm gonna be having a video out next week of a honest review of the game. Uh, so wish me luck on that. Um, and then we got two motorsports hour episodes coming this week eva destruction again i've been trying to work on it been busy but i do have room this weekend eva destruction from orange county for motorsports hour will be coming out and i went to the eastern states 200 had a fun time congratulations to stuart friesen on the win um coming up on the channel the eastern states 200 will be uploaded I managed to record the race. It was tough. I mean, there there was some dust in the beginning, but towards like when the race was continuing on, it was starting to clear up, which was good. But also, uh, holding the camera out for 200 laps was tough, and my battery managed to hold up, which was great. So that will be coming later this month. So that's that's going to be a must see, and it'll be the special edition of Motorsports Hour. So, uh, for the 63rd Eastern States 200. Now, I'm going to try to find more content to do. Um, I know there's um, a new documentary that I'm working on as well, but that's probably going to be at the end of the year. But in terms of content for right now, most of it's just going to be kind of edits. I mean, I got some edits in mind uh, that I'm working on. But, uh, yeah, hopefully... Everything goes according to plan, and all of this should be out before 2025. Uh, album, do you have anything else to say about uh, Monster Jam or Backwards Bob or really any thoughts about uh, Monster Trucks before we uh, end off the season? Black Monster Trucks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, Album, again, thank you for your being on the podcast and uh, – Hopefully we'll have you on maybe full-time next year, possibly. Again, we're 
thinking about forming a team. Yeah, I think I could be back next year for sure. Because yeah. I'll have a lot of free time, and yeah, the next event you will see me at it probably either going to be Philly, the Monsters on the Beach show, or the World Finals, one of those three. Then post-2025 season, oh, I'm back. I'm so back. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so... And pretty much the only event that I'm going to be going to for Monster Jam is uh, MetLife uh, in May. And then uh, hopefully I can get some independent shows to go to and cover for Motorsports Hour. Um, Orange County, believe it or not, did not have an event this year. Um, I guess because of like their situation. Because um, they only had like a few races this year and like the future was up in the air. But uh, now it's like... They're saying they're going to do 10 races, and there's, like, another side that's like, no, they're probably done now. So, hopefully they continue, and hopefully they can bring back the monster trucks. Um, and then, obviously, Sussex Fair, we're going back. Um, Accord was going to have uh, a show, but that got canceled for some reason. But hopefully they get actually something this year as well so a lot of stuff didn't really go according to plan but hopefully if i got free time next year we'll go to a, a good chunk of independent shows as well yeah, just come down yeah. just come down over here to virginia try out the monsters on the beach oh that's 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 something i want to do um i just have to do like travel with like a family member or something but that's a that's a must do. I, I I should try that at some point. Um, yeah, because who knows when the promoter will change and yeah, all that stuff. There is a show at Wildwood, but I honestly, I'd say the one over down here is a lot more better. But yeah, both both are equally good. But I haven't been to a monster truck show on the beach yet. But I'm hoping at one point that will happen. And yeah, those those two places are the places to do it. Um. Yeah, that, that's that's something I could try. But we'll see. Again, can't promise too much until I actually get confirmation. So <clears throat> that's that's going to be it for the uh, the season. Uh, again, there might be bonus episodes if there's a interview. Again, I'm waiting on a few people if I can get their interviews in. Um, but... In terms of main episodes, where we're covering monster trucks week in and week out. Uh, this was the last one for the season. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us since January. And uh, we're excited for the next season, 2025. We're going to be starring off week one. Um, going over the uh, results for week one is going to be the start. And then we just press onward each time. Talk about Monster Jam, independent monster trucks maybe sprinkle in hot wheels if we feel like it and then of course just ramble about like stupid funny shenanigans um so that will all be happening for uh for 2025 album once again thank you for having uh thank you for being on here <laughs> no problem and uh thank you everybody for tuning in, for tuning in and uh see you guys in uh, 2025